Hello my loves, welcome back to Cheek Hue's Spiritual Guide. This is another weekly love reading. I hope the week has been good to you. This is for my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini for December 16th through the 22nd. Okay, Christmas is approaching you guys rapidly. Um, <laughs> uh, this is a general reading, so this will not resonate with every single person. Okay, it's not personal reading. It's a general reading. So I could possibly be picking up the energy for hundreds, if not thousands of people. So please do not try to make it fit. If this reading doesn't sound like you or sound like the person you're involved with, then this is not the reading for you. You should resonate. It should feel familiar. Um, if it doesn't, there are other wholesome and connected readers here on YouTube who could possibly pick up your energy. Um, also, we will not, I will not tolerate rude or disrespectful comments um, attacking me as a reader. If you are not a fan of my style of reading, that's, that's okay. That doesn't bother me. Um, but I won't allow you to attack me, you know. So, I mean, there are other readers I listen to and I'm like, you know, I don't really care for their style. And you know what I do? I X out of the video and I go look for another reader. That's it. I don't attack them. That's their style. Everyone, everyone is different. Almost every reader has their own unique special style. And so, with that being said, um, this could play out for the cross watcher. The, the roles tend to flip. That is not my doing. I am not in control of it. I am just a messenger. I am a vessel. And I'm here to deliver a message. Um, so please, do not. I won't tolerate it. And I believe YouTube will not tolerate it as well. I've had um, YouTube delete comments from people who felt the need to attack me because they didn't like the reading. Well, okay. We don't like the reading. I know some people get triggered. You know what I'm saying? I know people are coming to me and they're hurt and they are still dealing with situations and you know, sometimes readers, they hit it, man. They hit it and it triggers you and you don't like it. Especially when they tell you about yourself. It's like, man, I don't like it. I don't even like sometimes when they were talking about my person, like, what? I didn't like to hear that they weren't being wonderful or they weren't being nice or their intentions were not good. Um, so trust me, I get it. I've been there. I've been on the other side of the of the camera. Trust me. I'm still on the other side. I still listen to readings. And, um, you know, I'm not a therapist. Someone told me I wasn't a therapist. And to some degree, I am a therapist. And I'm going to, people vent to me often. And I listen and I give my advice. I give guidance. That's why it's called GQ Spiritual Guidance. Because I do offer guidance. You know, via tarot. And you have free will. That's the beauty of it. We all have free will. You don't, you don't have to take my advice. But the advice is there if you want it. Okay, again, I will not tolerate disrespect, rude comments at all towards me or towards anybody. In the, none of my viewers who are commenting. I, I just won't tolerate it. And um, with that being said, air signs, we're going to get your weekly love reading. Okay? Remember, this could play out for the cross watcher. I'm putting emphasis on that because some people don't seem to understand that that's what happens in general readings. They do. They flip-flop. One card could be for you. The other could be for the, your person. And you just be like, I, if you know your situation, you know where to apply it, Right? If it's not for you, then yeah, of course you're going to be confused. If, you, if you're if you confused and you're like, ah, I don't really understand, then this, that, that, that is not a reading for you. Because if, it, if it's a reading for you, you're not going to be confused. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my air signs, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, in love this week? Giving them uh, understanding, enlightenment, knowledge, wisdom, truth regarding... Their love situation. Alright guys. I've already been shuffling off camera so. <laughs> Just wanted to shuffle a few times for you on camera. I'm going to cut the deck. Do not try to make it fit. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. So the most important thing happening in your love. To you in love and romance. Is the hermit. Okay. The hermit. That's Virgo energy. Um, your hopes regarding this situation. 
It's a Ten of Wands. Okay. What you don't see, air sign, is the judgment. Um, the potential outcome here is the Nine of Wands. Where is my focus? And the advice for you is the Five of Cups. Okay. Sorry, I didn't see that Five of Cups. Alrighty then. The underlying energy is a Ten of Swords. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. We're gonna make okay, we're gonna push through this. The hermit withdrawing, finding inner strength, introspection. This is what's happening. Maybe someone pulled away, maybe you pulled away. Um why is the hermit card here? Whoa, heartbreak, disappointment. Okay. This could even be a broken relationship. Someone pulled away. Someone has gone within themselves because they are heartbroken. Why is the Three of Swords here? Someone pulled away for sure. They've gone gone within. Why is the um why is it the Three of Swords here? That again, that's Virgo energy. The hermit is the King of Swords. Maybe heartbroken by um or this could be you, uh, Aquarius, because uh, King of Swords is Capricorn, Aquarius, but I think it's any air sign. could be any one of you. Heartbroken. Or you could be dealing with a, another air sign. Why, why the King of Swords? <laughs> why the King of Swords? Whoa, okay. Someone's holding back, holding on. You you could be your your pull you've pulled away. I think I think you've pulled away because someone broke your heart and so now this could be you taking on this king of swords like I, like like taking control, being more serious because this is a serious matter and you're holding back. Why is the 4 of pentacles here? Like you're not you're not playing around. Like, there's no fun and jokes happening here. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay. Page of Pentacles in the reverse, which is... Your, it's like you're holding on. Yeah, you're holding on to this, though. You're holding on to whatever this heartbreak was. Like if you receive some bad news, if you heard something, it's like you're holding on to it, which is probably keeping you in this three of swords. Even the, the, the king of swords energy. Why is the page of pentacles reversed? Okay. Hmm. Nine of cups with the sun, Leo energy. You're holding on to some something, but I, I see. You, but you want wish fulfillment, though. Like you want to be happy with the sun. You you want to accomplish something. What is the energy behind that hermit? Oh, ten of cups in the reverse. Yeah, I think you feel like a relationship was a waste of time. I think you received some bad news here, and so that that caused you to uh to break. It broke your heart, but like you're you're holding on to it though. Yeah, sometimes you know what it's hard to let go. Sometimes, especially when something breaks a heart. Like how do I just walk away and let, how do I just let this go? But you, it's like going through the healing process. I love that you're in hermit mode. That makes me me feel better about you holding on because at least because the hermit mode is very healing they he's looking at himself he's going within he's trying to find inner strength so that's the beauty part about this but i think you feel like a relationship was a waste of your time why is the ten of cups reversed mm, two of wands two of wands um 
you could be l looking at your which direction you want to go in looking at your life's direction why is the two of wands here why is the two of wands here okay <laughs> um oh the stars reverse yeah because I, I feel like you you had a dream of something like you dreamt something like you're like you had a dream and it was broken like it didn't come it didn't play out maybe with a king of pentacles this is a Aries or a Taurus or it just could be someone who's um the king of pentacles is a business person um like he's all about his money <laughs> um he's very reliable very grounded that's what i'm getting what's happening here um air sign again cross watcher this could be cross watcher But I love that you're in hermit mode. Because if you're heartbroken, I would prefer you to be in hermit mode. Because now you you are, um, again, you're trying to find your inner strength. That is such a healing place to be. Sometimes we need to just withdraw from everything and, you know, assess what we're feeling. Assess our heartbreaks. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I hope you'll take it because that's beautiful. That's great. That's a that's a good place to be when you've gone through something, okay? Just, you know what? I just need a break from everybody. Um, your host moving forward is the Ten of Wands. Um, well, let's see. The Ten of Wands is like a burden or something that's exhausting. Why is the Ten of Wands here? The Eight of Wands. Maybe you want to take... I think you want to take some sort of action. Like you're eager to either speak on this or take some sort of action. Why is the Eight of Wands here? This is your hopes moving forward with this situation. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, maybe you want, you want to explore other options. Because that other situation didn't work out. What is fucking over here? Oh, yeah, the lovers in the reverse. Like, I, I believe there was a separation. There was... Like, you couldn't rely on this, on that situation. So now, I think you're just wanting to release the burden. Because that, that's a 10, to release the burdens. And shh, to, shh, shh, pursue other options. Okay, um... Air sign or cross watcher? Hmm. That's what you, that those are your hopes moving forward. I'm here for it. That is your hopes moving forward. Because mm -mm. let me just clarify that. Why did the lovers come out reverse? The four swords reverse? Yeah. <laughs> You're just over it. You're tired. You're tired on all levels. And when I when I say all levels, I mean mentally, physically. Like, this is taking a physical toll on you. You're just like, I'm so over this. Like, I just want to go explore my options. I love it. I love it. That, that That's your hopes moving forward. And you want to do it quickly. But go through the healing first. Go through the healing first properly. You know, if you're grieving, like, go through the grieving process First, you don't want to move too quickly. Okay. Oh, um, what you don't see is the judgment. Maybe you don't see um, something being renewed, something um, improving even. Why is the judgment card here? Yeah, with this past person. I think you don't see anything being um, improved or re renewing anything with this Six of Cups. This is a past person that you were dealing with. Why is the Six of Cups here? 
Be like, I don't see it happening. Okay, I don't know. I think the moon came out first. The moon with the Knight of Wands reverse because hmm that okay so the knight the knight of wands reverse is could be suspicious suspicion i think it's like you don't see this re being renewed or even improved because I think you are suspicious. I think that there's something is not clear. Something hasn't been revealed to you. Like there's still some something being hidden. And you know it because you're suspicious about it. You're like, I know mm -mm, there's something I don't know. I know there's something here I don't know. What is the energy behind the judgment card? Oh. That's what I'm um, just the five of swords with the king of wands. Five of swords, king of wands. Maybe you don't see someone's ego improving. Even like deception. Like maybe you think, you know what? If I if I renew this, I'm still gonna be lied to. Like someone is still going to. Maybe a maybe maybe you were dealing with a. Um, a fire sign or someone taking on that energy or it's in their charts somewhere um but that five of swords is like deception but is ego based i don't think i think you're like listen <laughs> there's like you don't see how this could improve Be not with what's not what with what with what I see, I don't see it improving either. Not when something is being hidden and someone's still lying. You're suspicious of that. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? Mm. Ten of Wands. <laughs> I think you really know it's still going to burden you. Like, like if you renewed this, if you got back with this person, if you, yeah, there was a separation. If you got back with this person, you are going to, this is what you believe. Um, you're just going to be still exhausted and tired and it's going to be just a draining situation. Yeah, you don't see this working out. Okay, let's get your potential outcome is the nine of wands. Okay, this is, um, this could be a, a very pessimistic card. Like, maybe you just expect the worst. Like, you're like, I know this is not going to work out. Or that could be persistent in something. Why is the nine of wands here for my air signs? Oh. Temperance, Sagittarius, Energy, the Emperor, uh, Aries, Energy. You know what I think? I think, Arison, I think you're going to be, you're going to be persistent in your foundation. You want balance. You want, um... air sign you want balance and I think you're going to stop at nothing because this this nine of wands is a card of persistence this is having stamina this is even a victory card I think whatever shook up your foundation you're going to balance it out with that temperance card you are even with the emperor it's just like my foundation is about to be super solid super steady like you're not gonna just shake you shook up my world but I'm putting all the pieces back together it's like I put all these little pieces of the puzzle here and this person cross watcher possibly just came and just and so now it's like ah, oh, I'm putting all the pieces back together that's what I'm getting here and you're not you're not gonna stop have you ever did one of those thousand piece puzzles in like one day 
That's what I'm getting. Like, you're just like, I'm going to finish this entire puzzle today. <laughs> that's, that's what I get with the persistence card. Why is the emperor here? The judgment. Making a judgment call. Maybe on a water sign? Aries. I mean, not uh, Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, making a judgment call, I think. Or this could just be you deciding to um, be happy. That's what I think. You're deciding to go be happy. You know, you're willing. You're willing to set your life up. You're like, I'm going. To, I'm just going to be at peace. I'm going to be calm because that's what the King of Cups is. He's very calm. He's very, you know, um, leveled. I mean, in this picture, he's like on his throne and in the background the ocean is just like waves there's a ship that even looks like it's like um you know about to tip over i think your i think this is you taking on this king of cups energy and you're saying hey everything around me could be all in chaos you people around me could do what you want, but I'm going to be calm and collected. Why is the Nine of Wands? What is the energy behind the Nine of Wands? I like it. I, I thank you. Oh, the lovers. Oh, the lovers. Okay, the lovers. I think that's. I think that's you just being in harmony. You know, what I'm saying being optimistic, honoring yourself, trusting the universe. Yep, Ace of Wands. And <laughs> Ace of Wands. Um, I like that. I like that the Ace of Wands is here. But you have the Two of Swords with the Eight of Cups. Um, I think there's something. Mm, the, the, the Two of Swords with the Eight of Cups. It's like you're not... Okay, hold on. Um, why did the Eight of Cups come out? Seven of Wands. But you're not doing something. You're not seeing something. You're not, you're blocking. What, what is the energy of that Two of Swords? Sorry, that kind of threw me off a little bit. <laughs> okay. Four of Cups. You know what I kind of got? Uh, air sign. It's like, I'm going to leave you before you leave me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Either that is like, I'm not going to allow someone to just abandon me or bring me misery like you're blocking all that because even this four of cups is like disappointment and you're standing your ground you're not playing you're standing your ground i like that that's the emperor taking charge you know you're authoritative you 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 are in charge of your life and so yeah people can't just come along and shake up your foundation and we're supposed to just sit back and let you do that? It doesn't work that way. And if it does, if that's how you've been in the past, for those of you, um, my, I'm, I'm encouraging you to stand up for yourself. And I like that. I saw that that's what you were doing. Um, Aquarius, cross watcher. I like that that's what you were doing. Because you went through some things. You went through some things with that person. Okay, so your advice, the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is someone dwelling on the negative, someone living in the past. So why is the Five of Cups here? Three of Wands. <clears throat> um, so I saw the potential outcome, right? That's what, what possibly can happen, okay? But I did also see, I also saw that you were holding on. But you were in hermit mode, right? 
And I think this card is saying, yeah, you, you do still dwell on it. You're still thinking about it. Um, you still feel the loss, okay? But with this three of wands here, your advice is to step out. Step out, spread your wings, go get some fresh air. Because you were in hermit mode. And I don't know how long you've been in hermit mode. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. That hermit mode, that's a, I don't know if that's a number. I don't know my Roman numerals, guys. <laughs> um, I think that's a nine. So maybe you're almost out of it. Maybe you're almost out of it, okay? Because your potential outcome, that's what it was. Like, I'm starting over. I'm, I'm building a new foundation. And I think that's what your advice is. To go out and spread your wings, you know. Um, why is the three of wands here? Just, just start it. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, out in my throat. The, th the strength card in the reverse is, yeah, because I feel like you feel like it, it made you weak right? This situation, broken hearts do that. They weaken us. They, they, we have no energy. We just want to lay around, you know, and not really do anything. But, and I think that that's what happened. But, um, again, this five of cups is saying that you, you are still thinking about it. You, you are still dealing with it. And it, it is causing this level of, like, weakness. Why, why, the, why the strength card in reverse? Why the strength card in reverse? <clears throat> why the strength card in reverse? Mm, the world card. The world card. There is an end of a cycle. I knew it. I saw it. There is, an, there is completion. You, you're going to be just fine. For sure. You're going to be just fine. Because of your attitude toward it. That's what's going to make you fine. Your attitude toward it. Even though you're still dealing with it. Don't, don't push yourself. Don't. Um, just take your time with it. Okay. But at some point. You know, even though you feel bad, it's like, okay, we'll just get up. You know, go go out and smell the roses and feel the sun, you know? That's kind of what I'm getting with that. Because we don't want you to be in this kind of weak energy where you don't feel like you really want to do anything. Um, but the world card, this is an end of a cycle. I think all that's going to go away eventually. Because you, again, you're in hermit mode. Remember that. So why is the world card here? Oh. Oh. Yep. Listen. <laughs> this was your, I think this was your potential outcome. You're going to take action. You're going to be fine. You're going to be that three of wands. You're going to go out. You're going to just jump out with both feet and say, world, here I am. I'm back. I'm back, yo. You thought you... You thought you shook up my foundation? I'm back, though. I love it. I love it. Yay for you guys. Air sign, cross watcher. Even if you don't resonate, I sometimes I watch videos, I don't even resonate with it, but I love the reader. I love, like, the messages they give to other people. Even though that may not be my situation, I love their empowering words. You know what I'm saying? Because they make me, they empower me. I promise you, I would say I feel so empowered and feel so strong and thick skinned because of tarot. I, I really have to, I, man, because I was already a very strong minded person, but the more I listen to tarot, I just feel unstoppable. Like they have really spoken into my life in so many beautiful, positive ways to where I'm just like, what? Bring it on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, what? You want to, like, do me wrong? Okay, I don't have to be here. I don't have to... We don't have to take anybody's, you know, mess, right? We just... We don't have to. And so... I think that's what you're doing. Take charge of your life and um, make it happen. 
that is your reading. Very nice. Very nice. And um, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Welcome to the GQ Spiritual Guide family. And um, like the video if it resonates with you. And um, yes, enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.